welcome to Wumma. <laughs> Wumma. <laughs> We're back. Five. It's 1997. I'm not born yet, but it's Pride 2 time. <laughs> I'm four years old. Well, there we go. I'm in charge of a mixed martial arts promotion. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, we're here for Pride 2, Gracie Warfare. Uh, a couple months have passed since Pride 1. Uh, we signed a few people. You get, to see, you get to see some of them tonight, in fact. Oh, we do. I uh, don't know if anything else has changed. I guess we can look around, see what UFC is up to. Uh, Mark Schultz was crowned the first UFC light heavyweight champion. Yeah, good for him. He's the brother of um, Dave Schultz. Dave Schultz yeah, he is. Oh. Uh, cool. Foxcatcher man. Yeah. Um, Shuto had to disband one of their weight classes, I think. I saw that as one of the things. I think it was their welterweight division. They have, like, no one on their roster. <laughs> oh. It's kind of I wonder who will win the middleweight title. <laughs> Oh, I wonder. Poor, poor Tiger Mask. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I forget that's Tiger Mask. Yeah. And then uh, Pancreas. Uh, Boss Root, I'm assuming, is King of... Oh, no, he's not. Wait, what? They have two King of Pancreas. <laughs> oh, they have the Pancreas, King of Pancreas, and Pancreas, King of Pancreas. <laughs> well, that's not confusing. <laughs> I can't wait for that title v title match. <laughs> They're going for the title unification story, then. Uh... They had a show last week. Um, some people fought. All these ham and eggers. They had a fantastic fight. Uh, just a bunch of ham and eggers. Let's steal them all. Vernon <laughs> <laughs> White. He wrestled in Pride. He looks like he would he wrestle fought, in Pride. Fought in Pride. I in that say. picture. <laughs> Sakuraba beat him, I think. Of his, course he did. His debut fight. But anyway... It is, uh, you can see, Saturday, which means it's time for the show, but we also had our weigh-ins at our press conference. We don't get to see the press conference, but here's what everyone weighed in at. You may note some boys. some big weight differences. Who's, here. Who's, who's the biggest boy and who's the smallest boy? Coach, you can tell the biggest boy. All right, 375 pounds. Two at 185, or three at 185. Three at 185, so we have Henzo, uh, Pat Militic, and Jorge Pereira. I don't remember who that is. I don't know who that is. I think we signed him because he was on a Brazil indie show and he looks cool. Uh, oh no, he's in the Grace Jiu Jitsu Academy. Oh, that's he's that's in the probably Grace why. Gym. And they're, uh, yeah, okay, so we're just going to get into the show. Oh, come on, Remco. Here we go. Welcome to Pride FC2 Gracie Warfare. We're back in Canto. And we're going to get some of the predictions from the staff at blurcat.com. <laughs> so here we go. Our main event for the King of Pride Championship, Hicks and Gracie defends against Henzo Gracie, who I think is his cousin. I can't remember how it works. Man, there's like a million of them, and they, <laughs> they all start with R. These two are blood related. I know that. <laughs> Unlike some of them. <laughs> uh, like so... Lance one, Gracie. <laughs> I think Daniel's the one. I made that joke last time, but it's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good joke. Uh, so, uh, Rickson is making his first defense at the King of Pride title, and if successful, it would set a new record for the belts. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the, <laughs> the, uh, Blurcat staff all pick Rickson. Wow. So, there I you like go. how uh, seven of them picked Rickson, but none of them picked Gracie. Yeah. <laughs> Rickson Gracie. <laughs> also, we have different staff members this time. <laughs> Is it different stuff, maybe? Yeah, last time we had, um, we had, like, a... I can't remember when we made the joke about it being, like, um, Tom Berrickson. Because it was, like, Tom B. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have a uh, bit of a mismatch here. <laughs> Royce Gracie versus Alexander Otsuka. Uh, Royce Gracie, the favourite by a large margin. <laughs> He hasn't won a fight since December 1994. Oh, that's true. Has he fought since December 1994? I mean... Oh, he had he a draw has... against Ken Shamrock. So, you know, <laughs> pretty clear who the favourite is for me. But Atsuka, on the other hand. Atsuka. He fought a Shuto, and he got a unanimous decision. Yeah. So there we go. Case he's, in point. He's Tiger Mask approved. Atsuka's gonna win. <laughs> Uh, so then we have Volkan taking on Pele. <laughs> uh, I think this is Volkan's 
Pro debut, yeah, it says there. Uh, Pelly fought last time. He was successful over Jerry Bolander with a rear naked yeah. choke. So there we go. Uh, Pelly's the favourite. I think he got a submission of the night, actually. I think he might have. Because he was the only one to get a submission. Oh, no, um, middle edge. Oh, no, yeah, middle edge. Because the KO was the only KO of the night. Yeah, yeah. So um, here we go. So Dan the Beast Severin making his Pride debut, as is uh, Pat Militic, who is like, he's like a really good kickboxer. Is this the guy I made you? Oh no, I made you hire Remco. Yeah, you made hire Remco. Militic like trained a lot of people. I can't remember who though, off the top of my head, but I know he's like a big um training boy. I just want to point out, Dan Severin has an O and one record against other members of his team. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, Severin has won three of his last five fights by decision, so expect this to be a bore. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> fist bore, fist bore. <laughs> and Severin is the big favourite. Because yeah, uh, he's the best. Also making his debut tonight, Kasushi Sakuraba. And Big Daddy, Gary Goodridge. Yeah. Six are going for Sakuraba, one for Goodridge. Of course, you know, Goodridge is probably best known for that knockout in UFC where he like crucifix someone and elbowed him in the head until they were knocked out. Uh, Paul Herrera. I think it's that one. Yeah. Well, elbows, so. Yeah, yeah. It's the only elbow on this thing. Uh, <laughs> there it's yeah. And then Sakuraba, of course, is like he he's important. <laughs> He's see most it. well known for being a wrestler in New Japan in 2013. <laughs> Teaming with uh, Shibata as Laughter 7, of course. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, Laughter 7. Uh, and then we have um, two returning fighters <laughs> from uh, Takata Dojo. We have Yoji, Mr. 200% Anyo, who is uh, coming off a loss against one of the Gracies, Renzo. On the last Angel, fight. Of course, yes. And uh, Koji Gatel, who also lost to a Gracie. Uh, who Reuler. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, Gatel was a... Gracie Revenge match. Gracie Revenge match. A Gracie yeah. Warfare. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Gatel is a massive weight, weight advantage, of course, going into this. I think it's like 140 pounds. <laughs> but Anyo is still the favourite, apparently, because Gatel is just that bad. <laughs> And Anyo's that good. Anyo's that good. He's 200% good. Yes. Making his MMA debut tonight, his pro MMA debut, Randy the Natural Couture, taking on uh, Tom the Big Cat Erickson, who was beaten by Ikahisa Minowa last time out. Uh, Couture ha Erickson has the weight advantage, but Couture has the reach advantage. And he's also favourite in the odds. Yeah, not so, bad for your debut. So whatever he's been doing on the average scene has obviously impressed people. I like, um, by the way, I like uh, how Couture looks like a million years old in that photo. So does Sakuraba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we have Jorge Pereira taking on Remco Grizzly Pardewell. Remco! Oh. Uh, this is Pereira's debut, and he is the heavy favourite going into it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Pereira is a Gracie Jiu Jitsu uh, boy. And so Remco gonna... is the real Gracie Hunter in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We're kicking off with our first main fight of the night. Jorge Pereira taking on Remco Grizzly Pardoel. I'm John... so ready for this. John McCarthy will be the referee. I'm even more ready now that I know John McCarthy's there. <laughs> our judges, Natsu Noda, Tobokazu Fukumitsu, uh, uh, not Togaku, Takaji. <laughs> Hichiro Takaji. Oh. We all know about him <laughs> and his financial problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his, his terrible, terrible <laughs> financial problems. Freira is facing a major size disadvantage in this fight. He's probably giving up at least 85 pounds, which could be decisive. Oh, come on, Remco, just squash him. And <laughs> here away. we go. They touch gloves. See, the jab goes wide from Pereira, and then he hits Pereira with a beauty of a straight right. Shooting mm. him for a takedown straight away, and he completes it. Pereira pulling half Whoop. guard. In half guard, Pereira throws a couple of punches to keep Pereira guessing. Pereira blocks Pereira as he tries to sweep from half guard. Pereira tries to pound away on Pereira, but none of the blows land at any degree of power. 
Pardewell blocks an attempted sweep. Pardewell uh, looking to keep in the half guard here. And he throws a fast elbow strike to the head, scoring with a glancing blow. And Pereira has been oh. caught above his hairline, blood trickling down all over his face. <laughs> Pardewell blocks an attempted sweep. Pardewell throwing a few right hands, but he's mainly trying to catch his breath right now. That elbow took everything out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Pereira trying to get full guard, but he doesn't get anywhere with it. And the referee stabs the back up. Oh. Pardewell uh, trying to set up to shoot, but Pereira takes the initiative before he can. And Pereira isn't able to score with his set of strikes, but he gets the big right cross at the end of it. Pereira rolls his shoulders to relieve a little bit of the tension that's pilled up and then moves forward. He's aiming to get in close. Pereira aggressively taking the initiative again, throwing two quick punches, but doesn't hit with either one. Pereira landing a jab and then a straight right and shooting him for another takedown. And he scores oh. it again. Pardewell takes the takedown. Pereira pulls half guard. Was it Pardewell who had the takedown last time? Yeah, Pardewell had yeah. the yeah. yeah. takedown so yeah. far. Okay, so there you go. Uh, as the unbiased commentator, I know that. <laughs> Pardewell is trying to get out of a of half guard into a better position here. The pass attempt results in a scramble for position. Pereira trying to get back to his feet, but he ends up in guard. Pereira tries to pound on Pardewell. None of the blows land by any degree of power. Pereira blocks the attempted sweep. Looking to get past his guard here. Pereira oh. is too much for Pardewell. Gains side control. And it keeps him guessing with a few quick strikes. Pereira blocks the attempt to pull guard. Firing off a few punches, catching his breath. And then Pardewell takes the opportunity. Managing to pull half guard. Pereira begins trying to get his leg free of half guard. Get a pair of position. And advancing position with ease, he's managed to mount Pardewell now. Oh no. Pereira fire off some rights, Pardewell is in trouble by them. Pardewell tries to sweep from the bottom, but he doesn't budge Pereira. I thought Pereira would be going for submissions at this point. But he's continuing I mean, with the ineffective strikes. When have submissions ever been a greasy tactic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pardewell tried to sweep from the bottom of the mount, but he can't budge him still. Even though, even though Pereira is like, Smaller by a lot. <laughs> he still just can't budge him. He's got the <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's got the ground game down. Pair counts the attempt by Pardewell to move him from out by taking his back and I think Pardewell was saved by the bell there. <laughs> I see the fight metric so far. Um I'd I'd score that for Pardewell. Because I'm biased. Yeah, Pereira scored a significant strike. He got a few a lot more ground strikes, passed on it a couple of times. But part Pardewell of has the takedowns, nice so it could go, so, either, could go either way in that one. Yeah, genuinely that was probably a draw, but I'm biased to Pardewell, so Pardewell all day, every day. And the cut man goes to work on Pereira between rounds. He also, to the fight too much blood. he also cut him, so that you can maybe count that yeah, as points. That counts for something. Yeah, it probably does. Uh, Pereira looks confident, shortening the range as he looks to strike. Ooh. He throws a punch, Pardewell is able to avoid it, and Pardewell shoots in on Pereira, and he gets the takedown again. You're goddamn right. This time into side control. Pardewell keeps Pereira guessing with a few quick strikes. Pardewell blocks Pereira in his attempt to transition to guard. Pardewell pounds away with elbows, but he can't land many clean shots. Pardewell blocks Pereira as he tries to transition to guard. Pardewell pounds away with elbow strikes, but fails to land any significant blows. Maybe looking to reopen that cut, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Pereira brings his legs into trap Pardewell in half guard. And from half guard, he's working to get side control again. <laughs> Not sure what the point of that was. Uh, Pereira is ready for the pass and he starts scrambling from underneath and he ends up in guard. No. Pereira tries to pound at Pardewell. None of the blows land by any degree of power. Pereira doesn't let Pardewell pull him in close to be smothered and he tries to pass guard. Pereira gets past the Pardewell's toss him at half guard. Pereira begins trying to get his leg free of the half guard. And he's advances his position with ease, getting into mount. And Pereira pounds away at right. A couple of heavy shots get through and rock Pardewell. Oh, no. Time to get to perfection. Pardewell sweeps and overcommit Pereira to one side and scrambles for position. And scrambles leaves Pardewell on his back, pulling half guard. And that brings round two to the end. Oh. His corner are trying to get him fired up, but Pardewell just sits there staring at the floor. Oh my oh, god! 
<laughs> that's, Jesus. That's real. Uh, yeah, I think prayer will let him take that round. No, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he looks like he's like kind of coming to life at the end of the rounds. Yeah, it's, it's like, maybe it's like Pardwell like, gets really gassed. Yeah. As well, then, um, like, Pardwell can't keep on gas. Pardwell can't keep on top of him either when he's, um, on the ground. Mm. So, it's interesting. Uh, so Pereira, straight in the round, lands a jab, and he hits a nice straight right that lands hard. Pereira backs off, oh. he does not look at all steady on his feet, he has been rocked by that last blow, and he follows up with a big right hook. Oh, no. Pereira moves in quickly, kneeling in beside Pardewell, hammering down punches. Pardewell is having serious difficulty surviving them. Pereira on lots of big rights, and Pardewell comes up. Oh. oh my god, he survived. He must have known this was coming from... <laughs> I, thought, I thought John McCarthy would have called it. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's a very was... very suspicious refereeing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, look, you can't prove anything. Did you pay him off? <laughs> you, you can't prove that. John McCarthy always had that nice new car. <laughs> He's just wearing like a fur coat in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> like it's going to crown. <laughs> <laughs> Pardewell tries to pull the guard of Pereira, but he doesn't get out here with the attempt. Pereira pounds away. Pardewell is able to deal with them, taking all his gloves. He struggles, he gets half guard out of it, and he's looking to pass half guard and get side control, which he manages with ease. I think Pardewell is starting to, uh... oh, he doesn't have time to secure it. Pardewell scrambles, and Pereira somehow comes out on top in a north south position. Or if the north south stroke, maybe, no. He alters his positions and moves into side control again. Goes into mount, but he can't get into mount in the attempt. Pardewell tries to force a guard, but he can't. Does, does Pereira know that we allow submissions in this company? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, he, has, he hasn't gotten to that class yet. <laughs> it's like, it's like next week. <laughs> Pereira has tried to move from side control to mount. He can't get the mount as Pardewell rolls away to stop it, but he takes his back, going over the right neck and choke. Oh, oh but Pardewell fights off the attempt. Oh, that was exciting for me. Pereira blocks the attempt. <laughs> Pereira blocks the tether all off the back. He tries to get through a naked choke again. Pardewell oh. stops the arm from getting under his chin. And he's trying to move Pereira off his back, but he can't. And that ends the fight. Oh. Miles, who do you okay. got? Who do you got? Uh, I mean, <laughs> my heart says Pardewell, <laughs> but my brain says Pereira. Yeah, I think Pereira, he completely controlled the last round at least. The second could go either way. I think Pardewell might have got the first one. We'll see. But I do like Rem Actually, no, Pardewell, so. the first one was either way, and Pereira took the last two, I think. Uh, judges are good their decisions. All three for Pereira. Duh. Unanimous decision for Jorge Pereira. Yeah, we have the, um, we have whole fight scoring, not just the 10 point thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's <laughs> fair, actually. It is. Also, our fights could end in draws. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go, Jorge Pereira in a good fight. Taking away an over Remco Pardewell. I think that was quite a good fight, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. There were some fun moments. Uh, Pereira needs to learn some missions, I think, though. <laughs> and uh, Pardewell is better. <laughs> uh, Pereira praises his team at Gracie Jiu Jitsu, his various sponsors, and the fans who came out to support him, and he celebrates when he gets debut for Pride. He will be back soon, yeah, I assume. Yeah. Oh, what a respectful boy. Ooh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Moving on next. The debuting Randy, the natural couture, taking on Tom, the big cat Erickson. Of course, is uh, a 0 1. It's weird to see um, Randy Couture over 0. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Heavy favourite here. That he is. Uh, Masaki Hira uh, Hirahara taking over. Uh, Senzo Shirukawa, Kimiyama, and Noda. <clears throat> will be our judges. Mm. Obvious weight difference here. Katora giving up at least 75 pounds to his opponent. He knew what he was getting into when he signed for us. He's lucky he's not fighting Koji Katara. <laughs> Maybe he will in the future, though. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, big spoiler episodes. Round big one. Episodes. I can English. Round one begins. Erickson appeared to be going to try to get in close. Katora takes the initiative, hitting a left jab and a nice straight right. Another left jab and then a right straight to the ribs of Ericsson. Couture can't hit a set up left jab, but he hits the nice straight right that follows. Couture trying a quick one through. 
Pick one, two. Doesn't land either blow. Ericsson moves in fast. I could just look at her. Oh, here we go. Ericsson trying to use his side to his, side to his advantage. As he pushes Couture backwards up against the ropes. Oh yeah, we're in the ring, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Couture is uh, cage the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Couture is pinned up against the ropes, and uh, Couture isn't able to get free under his weight. And they come in with some dirty boxing to the body and side of head. Uh, Couture, Couture is still smothered. A grueling graphite contest continuing for the next oh, sixty God. seconds. Both fighters looking to avoid leaving any openings. The referee thinks there has been too little progress, brings them back to the center of the to center of the ring. Really two two minutes it took you to work that out. <laughs> and so uh back from the restart, Couture hitting a nice jab and a right cross. Striking is all Couture so far. Uh two left hands from Couture, his big right hand follow up misses. Ericsson looks like he was going to step in and grapple Couture takes the initiative first with a jab which goes wide, but he lands a right hand that follows, cutting Ericsson under his eye. Oh, that could cause some visibility uh, issues. That's true, actually. Uh, jab hits off Couture, and he lands a right hand afterwards. Couture lands a jab, and then catches Ericsson with a right hook. Ooh. He moves in closer, throwing some strikes. He uses a left jab, but Ericsson avoids the big right that follows. Couture can't connect with setup strikes, but then scores at a right cross. Couture looking very confident now as he shortens the range. Ericsson looked like he was angling for a takedown, but he couldn't take the initiative. Then a left right from Couture. Uh, attempt to land a hook to the body from Couture fails to land. And Ericsson takes the opportunity and clinches with the missed punch. Mm -hmm. And he pushes him back up against the ropes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ericsson manages it, controls Couture up against the ropes. The referee stops the clock to check Ericsson's cut. Mm -hmm. Which is obviously getting pretty bad. Uh... Doesn't take long to signal the doctor checks, but it's only a minor cut. So we'll resume in the center. <laughs> oh, and Ericsson can grab him and push him into the ropes. <laughs> Couture fails the one two attempt, and Ericsson clinches. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Puts him up against the ropes. Why don't you jinx that he's listening? Oh no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be giving fighters coaching advice or commentary. Even though if it's like real life, uh, Real life pride, like the English commentary was only dubbed like afterwards <laughs> for the first like three years. Don't, don't kill the business, man. So, like, Boss Rutten is like commentating, but he's also in some fighters' corners. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Ericsson's mother's couture up against the ropes, and they engage in a grueling close up short strike battle. <laughs> he enters the round's final minute. And it isn't a pretty tactic, but Ericsson wears couture down by keeping him trapped up against the ropes and forcing him to carry his weight. They ran there for a minute with sharp punches to the body inside of the head. The referee says grappling has gone on too long. Brings the back to the center. Right as the round ends. Wow. Oh, holy what shit. What an exciting fight. Oh, wow. Punches. Literally. Oh, my God. <laughs> a literal draw. I think Ericsson probably took the round for the control, even though it wasn't yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, probably, yeah. but I mean, just in terms of metrics. Yeah, yeah. The numbers don't lie, man. Here's the bell. And round two begins. Couture catches Ericsson with a right hook. He seems to be missing a lot with his lefts, but he's like connecting with the rights. Hmm. Very strange. Couture is starting to breathe heavier, so Ericsson's tactics of wearing him out is working. Oh. Ericsson is still moving well, but he's also breathing a little deeper. <laughs> so he's also wearing himself out. Uh, Couture hits the straight right again after the left. Maybe he's, uh, he might be fainting with the lefts. Ooh, that's uh, such an interesting idea. Couture steps in looking to unleash. He lands the jab this time and hits the right hook to the ribs. Uh, Ericsson can't take the initiative for a takedown. And uh, Couture landing both the punches again this time. So from the pocket he's finding a lot more success with the left and straight right again. He moves in closer yet again. And another left jab and a right cross. <laughs> uh, straight right again. Couture hitting a lot of punches. 1-2 from Couture fails to land. Uh, scoring with a right cross again. <laughs> Couture comes in to strike. Ericsson goes for the takedown. Right hand to the body. Ericsson shoots in for a takedown, and he gets oh. it. Couture oh. pulls guard. However, Couture, Couture locked up a guillotine on the way over oh. as he gets taken down. And Ericsson's able to pull his head free. Oh, oh that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. Ericsson hits the shoulder smash. 
Erickson leans back, preparing to get tore from throwing any elbows to the top of his head, because that's legal here. Oh, and that so it is. <laughs> we just made everything legal, didn't we? <laughs> yep. The time runs out in round two. So, uh, Katora was in control of the punching there, but uh, Erickson got the takedown. Uh, and he did get that nice submission attempt, even before he didn't get Katora also got the submission attempt, so yeah, I think Katora probably takes mm-hmm. that round. Even though it's a full fight score. I don't really know how that works, but still. <laughs> uh, Katora connects to a nice jab and then scores at a right cross. Another straight right. Oh, he reopened the call. Ooh. Uh, Katora is starting to have to push Katora himself Katora. now. His corner is urging him on louder. It looks like Ericsson tried to get some grappling started. Katora was more aggressive and takes the initiative. Katora lands a jab and a nice straight right. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna put him in a clinch and shove him into the ropes. Oh, oh. If only. Katora is confident. Strategy. Katora looking confident now. He shortens the range yet again, hitting some more. Strikes, but none of them are heavy enough to rock Ericsson, who obviously has a great chin. Uh, Katora taking the initiative again as uh, Ericsson goes in for the grapple. Uh, another left right combo from Katora. Ericsson wants to grapple, but he's uh, he's clearly worried of his opponent striking, so he's clearly getting worried here now. Mm. He can't be taking too much more punches. Another straight right from Katora. Ericsson shooting in a Katora after the straight right, getting a single leg. Oh, and Katora's forced to pull guard. And Ericsson smothers him against the ground as the clock runs down. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> Ericsson forms where punches. Katora doesn't take any undue damage. Katora throws some punches back, but Ericsson needs back to avoid them. And uh, goes right back into smothering him as the clock runs down. Smothers him again. Ericsson pounds away. Katora doesn't have to calmly deal with them. Katora pulls Ericsson in close, hits a couple of short, sharp punches inside the head. And Katora's control against the ground, only able to shoot Ericsson off him. And that's the end of the fight. God, what an exciting, exciting fight. <laughs> Official decisions are coming in. Miles, who have you got? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Ericsson? I think Ericsson, maybe. He did get a lot of control in there. He was just, like, smothering him a lot. Yeah. Katora was also trying to finish him, though, so maybe that might play in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, did, yeah. he also got the one takedown in the whole fight, so... Ericsson got the two takedowns. Oh, there was two? Yeah. Oh, there's only one for Ericsson. No, two. There was one in the second oh. round as well. So here we go. Oh. All three judges have agreed Couture is the winner. Oh, Ooh. the fix is in. Yeah, you know, this is a for Randy Couture. Average for debut fight for him. I feel average is a very generous rate yeah. for that. <laughs> he has 66, oh, two take 66 jabs and no power punches. And there we go. Two fights, two unanimous decisions. Katora gives my name, checked everyone at Grappling on the Mission, all his various sponsors, and then all of his friends, family, and sponsor- supporters. He says he's happy to win in his debut, and he says there will be many more victories to come. Oh my god, how does he know? <laughs> you see the future, man. <gasps> yes! And here comes the fight of the night. The dream! <laughs> Owen 3 versus Owen 2. <laughs> oh god, imagine if it ends in a draw. <laughs> oh no. One of these men will be walking away with their first mixed martial arts uh, victories. But lost in the last show to Gracie's. Or will end in a draw. Uh, <laughs> Anya is giving up £150. I but, believe uh, in him. For... <laughs> but he's still the favourite. I mean, look at these betting odds. They're actually close for runs. Yeah. Because we've got two crap guys. <laughs> uh, Yuji Shimada stepping in to officiate. And we've got Noda, Fukumitsu, and Takaji back. Takaji with his horrible Takaji. fight answers. <laughs> and he was fighting in front of the home crowd, and he gets a big cheer as he makes his entrance. Wait, is it Katao also from, like, Kanto? Uh, he's from my prefecture, so I don't know. That might be... I don't know where that is. That might be somewhere else. Uh, we assume Takada's in Anyo's corner. I don't think he's actually fighting tonight. Oh, yeah, I feel like he's there in- yeah. cheering him on. Uh, we start with a touch of gloves. Very respectful. Not very Apparently, characteristic. Mai to- is in... Sorry, Mai is in the Kansai region. Oh, okay. There you go. Anyo fails to find a home for his jab, but he catches Katao with a right hook. Anyo coming in looking to strike. Uh, left jab and then a right hook. But then Katao shoots in looking for the takedown, he's going for this again. 
Oh no. <laughs> Katow gets the takedown and your fuzz guard. Katow fires away with some punches and you doesn't take any damage. Katow doesn't let Anyo pull him close pull him in close to be smothered. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Katow doesn't let Anyo pull him Wait, did Katow not get the Oh he's trying to okay, okay, I see. <laughs> Katow's trying to keep his distance. Uh Katow pounds away, Anyo can deals with him. You don't get discovered by the massive Anyo. <laughs> From underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Anyo tries to get double underhooks on Katao so he can get some control, but he can't get them. Uh, Katao gets tries to get side control, and he manages it. I think, yeah, Katao can do pretty much whatever he wants on top of Anyo, I think. Uh, he attempts to move to mount. Uh, Anyo allows the mount, but it's just a ploy to him to try and scramble. And uh, it ends up with Katao in his back pulling guard. Oh. Uh, in guard, Anyo throws a couple punches to keep Katao guessing. He tries to ensnare an arm. Oh. Anyo is able to pull his arm free, brilliantly moving to side control in the same movement. Yes. Anyo looks to get a mount. Katao rolls onto the side to try and escape, but he gives up his back in the process. Oh. Anyo gets both hooks in now in a really dominant position. Oh, because... He's going to go for the rear naked choke, isn't he? Oh, yep. yes. <laughs> both hooks in. Great control of the body. Anyo tries for the rear naked choke, but Katao doesn't allow it to be be applied. It would be really hard to get a rear naked choke in on him, on him I think. <laughs> He's huge. He's huge. Uh, Anio loses his hooks, but he still has the back. Katao in increasing trouble as Anio gets the hooks back in again. again. He pounds away at right hands, doesn't do much damage. Uh, Katao is able to break free the hooks again, but Anio gets them back in again. <laughs> and he goes for a rear naked choke. Oh, yeah, he's not going to be able to flatten out Katao for the choke properly, I don't think. Mm. Uh, Anyo loses his hooks, Katao prides them away. Anyo goes for the rear naked choke without the hooks in. And uh, Katao is able to stop him from getting his arm under the chin. Uh, Katao tries to roll, but he can't budge Anyo. God, can you imagine a Katao rolling onto you? Oh god. <laughs> Anyo gets both hooks in in a re really dominant position again. Turns out right hands. He maintains his hooks this time despite Katao trying to break them. He pounds away again. And Anyo loses his hooks. Uh, he gets the hooks back in again. Going for Runa Kachow one more time. But Katao stops him getting the arm under. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Katao manages to free himself from the hooks, and that's the end of the round. Oh, damn. Yeah, Anyo was in complete control there, I think. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm yeah. like, kind of sad that he didn't. Like, I feel like this fight is going to go the full length, and just Anyo's never going to finish him. Yeah, unless he. You could go for an arm, maybe. I think anything else is just going to end badly. Or a leg. Or a leg, yeah. Any, like, body submission is just going to end badly. Yeah. Do you know if you have the guillotine him, like, out of a takedown or something like that as well? But I don't know if you can get the legs around yeah, him. Work. <laughs> we'll see. Here we go, round two. Anyo closes in on Katao, looking to unleash some strikes. Katao looks like he was going to shoot, but Anyo takes the initiative. He throws two quick punches, doesn't fully connect with either. Katao looks very drained, coming forward for a takedown, and he gets a single leg that leaves Anyo on guard. Katao is looking really ragged on top. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, he throws a couple of punches. Katao fires away with punches again. He doesn't allow Anyo to get the underhooks in. Uh, very lazy pounding from Katao as Anyo deals with all of them. <laughs> Anyo going in for the underhooks again, but he can't get them. Yeah, that's going to be the rest of this round, I think. Uh, a few right hands from Katao. Uh, Katao attempts to pass guard. And he, Anyo is there to scramble this straight away. And he manages to come on top, holding Katao down in a turtle position. While facing him. Hits a knee to the side of the head. Another knee to the side of the head. He fires away punches. Katao doesn't take much damage. And he gets back to his feet. Oh. Anyo is still moving well, but he's definitely breathing, breathing a little deeper. He lands a jab and then a straight right. And he opens a gash under Katao's eye. The third three fights, three blood, three um cuts opening. Was it was the first one eye as well? Or... No, it was a uh, forehead. It was an elbow slice. Oh, right. oh, yeah. uh, Anyo rolls his shoulders to relax him, and then moves forward. A tower Katao goes for the takedown, and Anyo can't stop him, catching him at half guard. He hasn't stopped a single takedown attempt yet. He doesn't have the sprawl for it. Uh, Katao tries to pound on Anyo, but none of the blows on any degree of power, and then time expires. That was Katao's round, definitely. Hmm. 
I wish Anu was doing better at the takedowns. Yeah. The cop man going to work in Katao between rounds. And we start our final round. Anu gets a jab and then a right hook. Another takedown from Katao. And he gets it again. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, 4 0, I think, for takedowns. Yeah, oh, man. Uh, Katao throws a few right hands. He takes a moment to plan. He tries to get out of hack guard into a better position. Uh, he doesn't even bother going to side control, just mounts Anu. Oh, my God. Katao on those right hands doesn't do a great deal of damage. He seems to be fighting against exhaustion. <laughs> Katao fires by her punches, but Anya doesn't take any Anya damage. Katao maintains control despite Anya trying to wriggle free. Katao pounds by her punches, can't land anything with power. Anya is in trouble by any of his strikes. Anya tries to get into half guard, but he can't. He goes with some right hands. Anya tries to sweep Katao, but he rolls too far and gives up his back. Katao gets his hooks in. He loves some right hands. And Anyo breaks the hooks. Katawa plays a body triangle. Oh, Jesus. Going for the rear naked oh choke. Has the body triangle on tight, but Anyo blocks the arm. I'm getting under his chin. Anyo looks tired, and that is the end of the fight. Two oh, gassed, gassed men. <laughs> uh, who are you giving that to Miles? The decisions. Draw, 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 draw. draw. I think Katawa. <laughs> it's probably me, Katawa. But... Oh, no one gives Anyo the win. Fukumitsu gives Katao the win. Oh, the tension. And Takaji gives Katao the win. Takaji, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Obviously, Katao is one of his uh, his um, predators. I mean, he owes him something. I'm not saying anything, but <laughs> his name, you can literally make it out of the letters out of Koji Katao. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same person. They're the same person. <laughs> he ran over him, though he's completely gassed. <laughs> Koji Katao. Koji Katao was a good fight by split decision. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I call it a good it's fight. Only sure. MMA. There's only been like twelve fights. That's <laughs> true. Uh, Katao tags everyone connected to uh, Paris Star Tokyo. Got to be in prayer for this fight. That is sponsors for supporting him financially, not his friends and family though. Uh, he respects Aww. Yoji Anyo and he praises his toughness. Katao is acting really out of character. <laughs> I know this. I'm enjoying it for. I like wholesome and. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I can't wait for Sakuraba just to. Two just massive to debuts here. Average. IQ wrestler Kazushi Sakuraba taking on Big Daddy Gary Goodridge. Uh, Sakuraba, I think, had a. Shooto fight. Beating. Yes, uh, which one? Yamamoto with a knee bar. And it was great. Great. And Goodridge. Uh, we've seen already he's four like and four. Four and four. Yep. Oh, he's yeah. been in two UFC tournaments. He was a finalist in one, losing to Don Fry. Uh, uh, I know he's, he's been in. He's been in three because the ultimate, oh. ultimate was a tournament, but he went out in the first round. I went out first round to Don Fry. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Morrissey Madness, I don't think was a tournament. Maybe it was. I mean, that's like that's the Severn Shamrock. Is it okay? Maybe. The re- the re- the really really bad one where they weren't allowed to punch each other. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so our next fight: IQ wrestler Kazushi Sakuraba and Big Daddy Gary Goodridge. Uh, Shimada taking over this one. Takaji is back. Oh. <laughs> Shiokawa and Kibiyama. Sakuraba has a major size disadvantage, getting up fifty five pounds, and we are underway. Goodridge throws a quick punch, doesn't hit. A punch from Goodridge fails to land. Sakuraba shoots him for a takedown. Oh, Goodridge shit. can't stop it. Pulls guard. Sakuraba attempts to pass guard and he passes to half. Uh, he starts to work out of half guard. Gets side control. Punches down at Goodridge. They are easy taking on the gloves. He looks to get mount, but he can't get it. But he attempts to arm bar Goodridge out of side control and he gets oh, it. Holy shit. Goodridge <laughs> taps out. Complete domination for Kazushi Sakuraba at his wow. point debut. Good god. That Just, was. Got him down. Is that the quickest fight we've ever had, by the way? It might be. That was still four minutes, though. I mean, yeah, it was four minutes. Yeah. So. Yeah, Sakuraba. Have had a fight end in round one yet? I think we have. Have we? I think Katao got, like, submitted in round one on his last fight. Yeah, I'm probably saying it's, it's probably right. <laughs> so, yeah, you see how Sa- see. Sakuraba just took Goodridge down, even though he was much bigger, completely controlled him on the ground. Very impressive oh, debut. That's that's quite the way to debut, eh? 
Uh, he gives tanks. Uh, praising his team at Takata Dojo. Huh? Takata's in his corner, too. Mm-hmm. I imagine he came out wearing his uh, super strong machine mask as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> his various sponsors, and also the fans who came out to support him. He's very happy to have won his Pride debut, and he's very happy to be here. Oh. And he gave a very charismatic performance. Yeah. Nice. Sakuraba's going to be our big And up next. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Dan the V Severn making his debut, and he also debuted in Croatian Sensation, Pat Militich. Look at these odds. Dan Severn a favourite, but Militich unbeaten in MMA thus far. Thus far? He's not fought Dan Severn yet. Uh, Big John McCarthy, back in here. Uh, We have Shiokawa, uh, Kimiyama, and Noda in this one. No Uh, dirty judges on this one. No dirty judges. (laughs) Militich is giving up at least 65 pounds. And here we go. Severn straight in for a takedown attempt, and he gets it. Almost getting side control, but he settles for half guard. He finds a way of punches. Militich doesn't take any damage. Uh, Severn blocks the attempted sweep, throwing a few right hands to the body. He blocks Militich as he tries to sweep from half guard. I should have put my Steve on offline. <laughs> uh, Severn pounds her at rights, but fails to land any sniffing of blows. Severn blocks the attempted move from half guard to full guard. And he fires off a few punches as he catches his breath. Uh, blocking the sweep again. Uh, no progress being made. John McCarthy stands the back. Mm. Militich moves in close for looking to open up an attack. Severn looked like he was going to shoot, but Militich simply took the initiative first. Militich can't, set, can't hit a set up left jab, but he has the straight right. And Severn shaking off the straight right, going in for a takedown. Uh, getting onto his back into half guard. Just a few rounds to the body. Militia tries to sweep Severn, but he can't do it. Firing off a few punches without any great force. He gains working for side control. He passes half guard, but Militia immediately starts to scramble. And the scramble ends up with Severn grabbing Militia and shoving him against the ropes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Severn pins Militia up against the ropes, and it's a couple of nice right hands to the side of the head. Does it again. <laughs> he's a, Militia takes a sharp right to the ear. Ooh. Oh, jeez. And Severin presses Militich up against the dirty box for just 60 seconds, and McCarthy brings them back to the center again. At least well, they did something while they were there. Yeah. Uh, Militich calls again for some strikes. <laughs> Militich throws a punch, but Severin is equal to it. Take down from Severin again, third one of the fight. Gets side control this oh time. Uh, he's content to just throw a couple of punches, though. Uh, he mm-hmm. blocks the attempt to pull guard. Throwing some small strikes. Uh, Militich is going for Garrett again, but he doesn't get anywhere. Severin tries to pound on Militich, but all the blows are comfortably dealt with. Militich tries to resist the guard, but can't manage it. Severin throws a few right hands, so he takes a moment to plan ahead. Uh, he tries to hit a knee strike, but Militich squirms around, and the blow is only glancing. Mm. And then McCarthy stands the back up right at the end of the round. Yeah, that was Severin's round, I think. I was gonna say, that's going to be Yeah. 43 ground strikes. Did three takedowns. Yeah, he's got it. Uh, he's, he's doing well. Mm-hmm. Not unbiased. <laughs> he should probably try to finish it, though. I mean, yeah, uh, but... Militich's coming here for a strike. He uses the left jab, but Severin avoids the big right. That follows. Militich's moving in confidently. It looks like that Severin was about to start trying strikes, but Militich takes the initiative. And tries a two punch combo, which Severin avoids. Militich confidently moves in closer if he's chosen strikes. Uh, he chose a punch, Severin was equal to it. Another takedown from Sever- 10 from Severin, and he gets him in half guard. Militich gets him in half guard. Uh, Severin throws a few weak looking punches as he decides his next move. He blocks the attempted sweep, just to get past half guard. Militich is ready to scramble as he passes, and Militich pulls- comes out on top this oh. time. It's Severn pulling Garrett. Militich throws a few strikes, but he's slowing things down so he can think. He blocks Severn as he tries to sweep. He begins to try to pass Garrett and gets a better position, but Severn keeps him firmly in his guard. Severn tries to sweep, and he unbalances Militich with a messy elevator sweep, giving him the opportunity to scramble, and Militich is up in Garrett this time. <laughs> uh, Militich loads some right hands, Severn deals with them comfortably. Severin gets the unhooks in, pulls him in close, right as the round ends. Oh. Uh, Militich, I think, because... I don't know, actually. 
Yeah, that was, I don't know. Yeah. Sever got the takedown yeah. and the sweeps. I don't know. Miltich probably a bit. Yeah. But Dan Severn's still cool. <laughs> He's got a nicer mustache. Uh, Severn <laughs> may have a take up to shoot, but Miltic aggressively takes the initiative with a two punch combo that Severn is able to avoid. And Severn takes him down again, ending up in half guard this time. Pounds about right, but fails to land any significant blows. Miltic moves from half guard to full guard. Severn or tries to move, but Severn doesn't allow it. Severn attempts to pass the half guard. Miltic allows the pass, but it's a ploy to try and scramble. And Severn ends up on the bottom of Miltic's in side control, throwing a few big looking punches. Severin tries to get the guard in, but Miltich doesn't allow it. And we pass the halfway mark off the round. Miltich's going for the Kimura, Ooh. but Severin doesn't allow it to be applied. Oh, that's a bit tense. <laughs> Severin tries to move to guard, Miltich doesn't allow it, firing off at some rights. Severin going for the guard again. Miltich with the strikes. Severin tries to full guard. Miltich with the strikes. Severin tries <laughs> to pull guard. Miltich with the strikes. Oh. And thankfully the fight's oh. over. <laughs> who's your, uh, who's your oh, pick, yeah. Miles? Uh, it's got to be Dan. Think so? I think so? I mean, I want to. I think he split decision. But I'm not sure who's going to take it. Oh, all three dungeons for Severn, okay. You're goddamn right. <laughs> he did get all the takedowns, that's true. You now have a decision for Dan to be Severn. Decent fight. That's debatable. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Giving thanks, Severn praises his team at Team Fry slash Severn. <laughs> his various sponsors and the fans who came out to support him. He celebrates his Pride debut and he's looking forward to his next fight. I'm disappointed their team name isn't Team Mustache. <laughs> I've got a big fight here. Volkan. Magomed Khan Gamzatkanov taking on Pele Jose Landy Jones, who, of course, uh, last time out, I mean, it was, pride, well, the, it was the debut Pride show. Uh, getting a submission victory over Jerry Bolander. That was a round one as well. Yeah. On round one, oh. I think that was the opener. That was the first fight in Pride history, I think. I think it may have been. As far as I remember. And now they're like third from top, I think. So there you go. Hey, good for him. Good for him. He's 7-0. Really? My Thai boy. Taking out a Sambo boy. Uh, Shimada. Officiating this one, and um, Takashi's back with uh, Shiokawa and Kimiyama. Volk had the much larger fighter, 30 pounds or so on Pele, which is probably the smallest weight gap we've had so far. <laughs> and we are, we are underway here. Volk straight over the takedown, and he gets a single leg, and Pele pulling guard. Volk had worked for Sabrin, so now he's going for it, man. Mm -hmm. Volk had pounds away at rights, but fails to land any significant blows. He throws a couple of punches that he deflects punches that Pele threw tro... from below. Volcan fires off a few punches, aren't thrown around in great force. He tries to work to get past guard. Pele was ready for the pass and he starts scrambling. Volcan moves quickly to try and secure one of his opponent's legs, but he doesn't get it. Ends up being on his back pulling guard. A big error from Volcan going for the leg there, ending up handing the advantage to his opponent. Uh, Pele looking for side control. And he passes the side control, doesn't have time to secure the position before Volcan starts scrambling. And uh, Volcan only winds up on his back with half guard though. Uh, Pele fires off a few punches, fairly great force. Volcan uses the underhook to work some separation in and quickly scrambles. But he may regret that choice as Pele, perfect opportunity to get side control. Ooh. Volcan just, um, his scrambling isn't working well for him so far. He fires away with. Fires out elbows, does little in the way of damage as they're all deflected away. Volcan does well to transist to a full guard. Pele pounds away with some elbow strikes and do much damage. Volcan pushes Pele away while defending the elbows right out of the guard. Volcan makes Pele step back with a vicious up kick. He tries to take an up kick again, but Pele manages to step back in time. Uh, on his way, on his back, Pele, well, Volcan watches as Pele comes in looking to get a dominant ground position. Pele comes around the raised legs to get side control. He's very good at getting side control. But mm. he's not doing much with it. Uh, Volcan tries to move to guard. Pele with a few punches. Blocks the guard. Pele with elbow strikes, but uh, Volcan can kind of use them. Another block guard. More elbows. Half guard from Volcan. Here we go. Uh, Pele with a few more strikes, though. 
And uh, Pele blocks Volcan as he tries to get some separation between them. He hits a handful of punches, which are blocked by gloves. A few more punches from Pele. A few more punches from Pele. Volcan suddenly bursts into life and tries to scramble. Pele is too quick and grabs side control. <laughs> Again. Some elbows from side control. Without any significant strikes landing. He blocks the attempt to pull guard. More elbow strikes. Volcan tries to pull guard. More elbow strikes. <laughs> Volcan tries to work to guard. There we go. Not a lot happened, but Jose uh, Lopez. No, look at the ground strikes. All the ground strikes from um Mandy, from Pele. Wow. He also got a lot of um side controls from scrambles, so I think that was definitely Pele's round. Hey Pele. He confidently comes in close to start the round. Uh, Volcan couldn't take the initiative for a takedown. Pele lands a jab and then a right hook. He hits the jab, but has no power at all behind it. Uh, Pele can't connect with his setups, but he lands hard with a straight right. And hits another straight right on jab. Uh, Volkan is worried here about rushing in to, uh, rushing in, trying to avoid punches if he shoots in. Another 1-2 from Pele, but he fails to land this time. Uh, Volkan seizes the up chance and shoots in on Pele, but he came in way too slow, and Pele headlong straight into a vicious knee. And Volcan gets knocked down. Pele goes to finish him off with stomps and kicks. Oh, of course. Somehow Volcan hangs on. Holy crap. Pele has to step back to avoid an up kick. He took a knee to the head and stomps and kicks to the head. Jesus. Oh, my God. That was nasty. Volcan watches as Pele comes in from the ground, his own ground position, tries to get free. Pele secures side control. Looking for a knee strike from side control this time, though. But he's off balance. And, hmm? I feel like this uh, fight is going to be used in the footage when Japan regulates MMA. <laughs> I think so. Pele uh, <laughs> is off balance as a result. Volkan tries to scramble for position. We've passed the half an mark. Pele mm-hmm. scrambles to his feet, but Volkan immediately drives him up against the ropes. And then presses him oh. into the ropes. The Erickson strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Short punches to the body inside the head. Volkan Drops down for the takedown, getting a hold of the leg, but Pele remains Whoa. standing on the other foot, leaning against the ropes. Volcan twists him to the floor, and like, sounds like he gets like a dragon screw. <laughs> I was gonna say, did, did Volcan just do a dragon screw like what? That sound <laughs> sounds easy? like it. <laughs> he gets side oh, control. Uh, then uh, tries to get into mount from there, but he can't get it. Pele tries for the guard, but can't manage it. Volcan further punches Pele, doesn't take any damage. The Volcan blocks the pull guard attempt, and there we go. Big round okay, that, for that um, round, I don't I don't even care about the stats. Volcan wins for surviving. <laughs> I think Pele will get it just for the knees and the elbows. Oh yeah, totally. But yeah. that dragon screw leg whip pull was pretty cool. <laughs> he just needing accounted. Wow, that's harsh. That's weird. Did he count it as a punch? Maybe. Yeah, because he didn't land any power like punches. Power punch. Yeah, maybe. He didn't actually get any punches, I don't think. Take down from Volcan. Uh, Pele pulls guard. Maybe he punched his own knee into the <laughs> Punched the back of his leg. Yeah, into the... <laughs> That's kind of now. That's amazing. Volcan tries to pound on Pele. All the blows are caught to be dealt with. Pele throws out some punches, but Volcan leans back to avoid them. He punches from Volcan. Pele tries to pull him in close with short strikes, but he can't. And then Volcan attempts to pass guard and get in a better position. Pele tries to counter the pass. They find themselves scrambling. Pele on top and side control at the scramble, as has been happening many times tonight. He tries for the knee strike, but when Volcan manages to unbalance him as he tries to set it up and he can't connect it properly, he starts trying to work to go from side to mount. He attempted to mount results in a scramble. And Volcan presses Pele against the ropes again. And he goes for the dragon screw again. Oh, he's going for oh. boat, le- boat legs this time. And he throws an ugly double leg takedown from the mat. It's effective to leave Pele on the mat turtled up with Volcan on top and facing him. He presses a throw a knee strike, but Pele is able to spring back up. Volcan starting to slow down a little touch. Pele is still doing well, but pretty deeper. Yeah? It's the last round. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you slow down now? You conserve <laughs> energy. What are you conserving it for? Who conference. knows? Yeah, the press conference used to be in good shape. 
does it take that turn for Volkan? And Pele casts off the takedown. Six successful takedown from six from Volkan. Oh, wow. He's not doing a lot with them. He eventually passes into half guard. Volkan pans out right hands, and that'll be the end of the fight. Who have you got? Pele. I think Pele too. Yeah, Pele uh, won the scrambles, even despite the takedowns. And oh. even for Volkan did do the dragon screw leg grip. We're going for a split That's anyway. So, cool. so uh, Kimiyama for Pele. Takashi oh. for Volkan. Bloody dirty. Oh, who's it going to be? Volkan for Shiokawa. Oh. A very close fight from Volkan. Oh, the controversial. Season. Another good rated fight. I, I think, think that might be our fight in the night, to be honest. That fight seemed very good. <laughs> and uh, there will be a. I said there'll be a rematch in the future. For a split decision. Yeah, so. yeah, let's do that. There we go. Uh, Russian top team, he thanks his sponsors, his friends, his supporters. He celebrates his debut and he's looking forward to his next fight. That's uh, Pele's first loss. Yeah. Uh, here Pele's we go. Uh, making his Pride debut. Another. I think he was a was Asuka pro wrestler first. I can't uh, remember. Maybe. Was he in like UWFI? He might have been. I'm gonna check. I know his um his nickname is a uh, yeah dude. His nickname is an Abdullah the Butcher reference. I know that. <laughs> he's the diet butcher because he's the he small butcher. Should put in his first name as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's taking on Royce Gracie though, so he's probably going to lose. <laughs> uh, Hirahara is the referee, and we have Shikawa, Kimiyama, and Noda. Ah, uh, he's best known for his work with. Battle arcs. Oh yes, yeah, of course. God damn it! I got the I got the rival one rather than UWF. <laughs> uh, Tsuka has thirty pounds on Gracie though, but um, you know, Gracie's trained in martial arts. Oh, <laughs> you know what that means if he has the weight advantage. Oh no! Here we go. Corner smash. Fighters oh, touch gloves. Gracie shoots in for the takedown straight away, but Tsuka sprawls and pushes Gracie down, so he's on his hands and knees. Oh man. Atuka fires where punches, Gracie doesn't take any damage. Gracie manages to stand up. <laughs> what was like what was Atsuka doing? <laughs> he just let him stand up. <laughs> Atsuka gets him into clinch. And Atsuka oh. goes for a takedown from clinch, but he can't get him down to the ground. Goes for it again. But Gracie is uh, maintaining a solid base. Uh, they break apart from the grapple, and Atsuka was in for a clinch again. Lucky to scoop him up for a slam, but he can't get it. Gracie uh, defends and pulls away from the grapple. Take down from Gracie, but he couldn't complete the single leg, but he does manage just to grab a leg while Atsuka hops on the other, and he pushes him against the ropes. Oh no. Uh, he looks for a takedown, he secures. You know what he has Yeah, same again. Uh, Gracie gets pulled into a clinch against the ropes, but he drops down and wraps his arm around his opponent's legs for a takedown, and he gets it and gets side control. Ooh. He gets trying to work himself into the mount, but he takes the back instead as Atsuka rolls over instead of getting mounted. Gracie gets his hooks in. Choke time. Yeah. Attempts to get the rear naked choke, and he flattens him and gets it in deep, oh, forces the tap. <laughs> that was our first Gracie on Gracie Warfare, and he won in the co main. Well, we had an unofficial Gracie in Peraria. That's true. Uh, Gracie praises his team at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, his various sponsors, and he's very happy to... Cr- that was his debut. Oh. Yeah, he didn't fight in the first show. Oh. There we go. Boatmen making their pride debuts, and Royce Gracie comes out on top. But now, Miles. Oh. It is main event time. Gracie versus Gracie for the I... King of King of Pride Championship. For your main event. Who will be leaving for with all the pride? Who who will be the ultimate Gracie? Oh. Uh, Shimada officiating. Uh, Shiokawa, Kimiyama, Noda judging. Oh. We don't have any dodgy referees for the main event. <laughs> no dodgy referees for the main event, Smiles. <laughs> I, I don't approve of this. This is um, main events for one 10 minute round and four or five minute rounds, I think. I think I changed it to that. Uh, Rickson looks a good 20 pounds heavier, and he's also the odds-on favourite here, so this will be interesting. Oh god. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to be confusing at all. Okay, Rickson is Rickson, and Renzo is Gracie. 
Okay. So Renzo gets in. To change that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enzo gets in to clinch. He goes for a chirp takedown, and Rickson's able to block it and takes control of the grapple. He tries to reap a leg with a sharp sweep in order to trip him to the floor. An excellent outside leg trip sees um, Renzo throws him up to the mat. Hickson gets no problem getting side control. Hickson fires away. <laughs> Hickson fires away, punches he's little in the way of damage. Henzo tries to transition to guard, but he can't manage it. Hickson fires off a few punches as he catches his breath. Henzo tries to pull guard on Hickson, but he doesn't get anywhere with the attempt. Hickson throws a few rounds to the body. He blocks Henzo's guard attempt, fires punches, fires punches, fires punches. Henzo tries to pull guard, doesn't get anywhere. Oh, Hickson going for an arm bar from side control, but oh. Henzo's able to block it. Henzo tries to pull guard, but he doesn't get anywhere with the attempt, and uh, Shimada stands the back up. Do you know, if this was under Gracie rules, they wouldn't be allowed to stand the back up. Oh. Healy would be at oh, ringside. Right. <laughs> Hickson goes straight in for the takedown on Henzo. Uh, Hickson takes... Hickson has the takedown, he gets slight control from it. Uh, Hickson pounds out punches, he can't quite land anything with any power. Henzo tries to move to guard, but Hickson does not allow it. Inside control, Hickson begins working to get mount. He almost gets the mount, but Gracie bucks his hips up at the right moment and he's able to start a scramble. But he mistakenly leaves his back exposed and Hickson oh, takes it. Hickson goes right in with the hooks. Oh, he yes. tries to get the rear naked choke applied and he fully yes. applies it, flattens him out completely. Henzo has no option but the top. And Hickson Gracie. Submission victory, first defense of the King of Pride title, an average fight. I, sh I should have looked up what their uh, relationship was. I'm pretty sure that Hickson is the cousin. Henzo's like, is Henzo Royce? No, Henzo and Royce are the same age, so they're not, not brothers. So is Hickson. Yeah, they could be twin brothers. I don't think they are. I think Hickson is Royce's brother. Okay, here we go. And Henzo's the cousin. Okay. I found Renzo. Mm -hmm. He's not his brother. He is his cousin, but not like his first cousin. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yeah, Hickson is um, Hickson is Hoyce's half brother. No, oh, I'm impressed with your grace. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. That's Royce. So the photographers. God damn it! It doesn't specifically mention Rickson in <laughs> Renzo's yeah, they're both biography out. of all his relations. <laughs> uh, Rickson and Royce are both Helio Gracie's son. Uh, so Enzo's probably the cousin, like second or third cousin. Uh, so that would make sense. Oh, he's the grand nephew of Helio. Grand nephew. So that's like Helio's first cousin once removed, maybe. Grand nephew. So it's like Helio's brothers. You know, so if it's the grand nephew, that would make him the great grand nephew. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, wait, because they're both in the same. Oh, God, I don't know. I need to go lie down. They're Gracie's. <laughs> That's what matters. Anyway. They're somehow related. <laughs> after the fight, Rickson celebrates with the King of Pride title. He poses for the photographers, and he's got the belt around his waist. But anyone will be able to stop Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Well, I think the only person who can stop a Gracie is another Gracie in themselves. <laughs> so 65% critical. So 60 is good. So that's fine. 60 is good. Okay. Yeah. All right. We didn't have any great fights. Mm, that's true. Uh, we also got about what we should be getting, I think. So that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. It was a fine show. We probably. Need to book some better fights. <laughs> yeah, but there's like not any good MMA fighters yet. Or if they are, they're in the UFC. True. Oh, here we go. No knockouts. Okay. Uh, I think Sakura Average should get submission. Uh, yes, he should. Completely dominated him. And fight. Are we just going? Are you going for yeah. Royce? And... I enjoyed Volcan, Volcan versus Pele. I was going to say, I would say that one too. That was yeah, my yeah. favorite. Okay, that's fine. No one deserves performance bonuses. <laughs> God, uh, Royler's gonna get real angry. <laughs> well, uh, we made money. 
Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> Look at the bloody Tom Erickson, man. Jeez. Look how many little Remco. money does Suka. Otsuka, oh my god. <laughs> what kind of contract is he on? <laughs> is he paid like a dollar per second per minute of the rounds? <laughs> Yoji Anyo is to address his flaws. He made his loss on his stamina issues. He said he tired too quickly, and that was the root of his defeat. He's about to Whoa. work on his cardio for his next fight. Gonna get himself, he's going to get real jacked. Uh, Rickson, Remco, Erickson, and Pele are coming to the end of their contracts. We need to renew them. We need Hickson. Definitely. Yes, we okay, that's the wrong way around. Yeah, give him that. Can you give him like 40? The, the, wait, the amount you're giving him? Oh, yep. Can you give him like one dollar more? <laughs> he seems to like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good technique, you know? Remco is 0 and 2 so far, but you like him, so we'll give him another yeah. chance. Yeah. <laughs> one more guaranteed fight. The redemption. <laughs> uh, Tom Erickson is also 0 and 2. Yeah, but I don't really like him. I'll keep him around. We, can, we need some fighters. Yeah, we need we need some ham and eggers. Yeah. Um, Pele. We oh, like Pele. Yeah. We like Pele. Big money, Pele. We also look into that. You give him five dollars. Oh. <laughs> Still, I can't. Actually, I can't. Oh, nice. <laughs> There we go. Okay, um, let's update our rankings and see how they are. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Those are fun. Ooh. Um, not much moving. Yeah, Volcan's gone up. Yes. Uh, uh, Frank Shamrock. I forgot we even had Frank Shamrock. Yeah. I'm honest. He probably will be on the next card because um, yeah, he probably. Oh, there we go. So See, are, are uh, Blue Text new entries, by the way? Blue Text are recovering from their last fight. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Black are available, and Red or right. red, red Text will be booked. But there's none up there yet. Just, just hear me out, folks. At some point, can we... I just want to point out, we have four Gracies. Yeah. Do you want to book a Gracie tournament? You're goddamn right, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have a, you can see there's a lot of people here that um, we're waiting to debut. Hans Lyman, uh, Kiyoshi Tamura, who might who actually might be our Tiger Mask. Uh, we'll get into that later. <laughs> uh, like Tactara, he debuted actually. We're probably our Tiger Mask. Uh, Vitor Belfour. Oh yeah. He actually showed up in Pride around this time, so that makes sense. Uh, Kevin Randleman, who like he did he like German suplex someone. In a fight once, lost her head. He did something. Yeah, he did something famous. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. A lot of people. A lot of exciting times here in Pride. Uh, I, think that was a, I think that was a good show, Miles. I mean, that was a good show. We're doing good. It was better than the actual Pride too, <laughs> Which is what matters. Um, so yeah. Is, is, what, what one's the Pride with a 90 minute fight? Uh, Pride 8 and a half. Because it's the open white card frame that didn't count it as a full number. Oh. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> uh, we will also be doing a Grand Prix show maybe at the end of this year, I think. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, I do want you to mention for the end of this episode that all material is copyrighted blurcat.com. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. That's kind of cool, that's there, actually. I like that. Yeah, they have like little stuff here, too. Like, see, they have like the classic combat thing. So they'll be looking back at a memorable title belt between Hoist Ricks and Gracie and Nobuhiko Takada. Wow, do you remember all the way back in February? <laughs> Sometimes it puts on fights from the night. <laughs> like the night before. <laughs> Who can remember that classic fight from like, from yesterday? <laughs> do you want this guy? Whoa. I kind of like, like his name. Yeah, I'll get him. <laughs> This is how a big roster so we can book sh- a lot of shows at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, there we go. I think that'll be it for this episode. Unless, is that uh, anything you want to do? Will be Pride Free? Pride, right? th- Pride Free? Uh, I'm not sure what the main event will be. you have to tune in and find out. Oh, exciting. <laughs> but also, call your local pay-per-view providers. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, that you mean press subscribe to your YouTube channel. Press subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Miles. Uh, you want to say goodbye and plug your gimmicks? Uh, bye. Uh, uh, check out my SoundCloud. Check out SoundCloud. Um, uh, 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 subscribe to my YouTube channel mm-hmm. and subscribe to my or wait no wait what's the one on Twitch is it subscribe or follow what Fol- follows, one? follows the free one okay follow my Twitch channel as well <laughs> yeah twitch.tv slash mildly underscore music he does fun things he streams fire streamed fire, streamed fire pro recently yes I'm gonna do the whole fighting road man gonna do more fire pro is MMA isn't it <laughs> uh, it's some MMA. We, we should book one of the shows we do in Fire Pro. We don't have. There's a guy on the Steam Workshop is making the entire like Pride roster. Oh, like I've, ever. I've just been using a DJKM has done like basically every MMA fighter. Nice, as well as every wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like a crazy amount of edges. Have you seen? He does. Yeah, he's he, he was working on the PS2 one for ages. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> he had um, really a <laughs> he had a Chikara pack with like every wrestler wrestling Chikara. Oh yeah, really cool. he's, he's the, I think port, a lot of them have been ported over now. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll also say goodbye. Hit subscribe. Uh, tell us what you like, what you don't like. Tell us if you want us to book any fights, maybe if you have suggestions. Tell us how over. Mr. Two Hundred Percent is for you. <laughs> and tell us how much you love Koji Katao and our crooked, shady judge. What a dick, <laughs> Anyway, I have been uh, Ricky Dizuba. This has been Pride. Been wildly amusing. He's been wildly yeah. amusing. This has been Pride. We will see you soon. <laughs>